Everything is divinely orchestrated. Hey guys, so I want to kind of jump on do a little clip here. I was on my way here to the park to do some channeling writings uh, for the books. Um, and so actually on my way here, um, it, it was shown to me, we'll just put it that way. It was shown to me that like I was driving by this um, like community center and um, what, what it was happening um, as I was viewing it driving by, they were, uh, cars were lined up um, and then uh, they were putting in their trunks food and items to be distributed um, for those who don't have it. Uh, and then there was um, a person in a wheelchair um, going down the road, uh, you know, on the sidewalk. They were driving their wheelchair. Uh, it was like one of the motorized ones down the sidewalk. And as I was going by the community center, what dropped in basically was is we all we always have an opportunity to be love, right? And so everything is divinely orchestrated. Um, and although it can present the situation of being in suffering, but it's for the purpose of love, right? So it gives you an opportunity because that is the purpose of being here is to generate love, which in my other video I talked about uh, when we are in the state of love, we're actually helping to create what's beyond here when we go there. And that's what that love is. That is not just source, but we are kind of like um, the generators, if you will, to add to that love, um, to create it. So when you're on the other side, it's, it's all love. Um, and so what we create here, and we're able to get into that space of love, we're actually sending that love uh, to the other side. Uh, we're generating it from here to be of it, to experience it in the awareness of it that we're our love, and we send it over there. It go that's where it goes, right? And so a lot of times, you know, we have these emotions that come up and flow through us, but we don't really know where they go after they flow through us right and so they're generated on the basis of love and so that goes um to the other side so how does this all relate right and um you might ask uh well <laughs> you know from the scenario that i wanted to try to correlate this to put it into words for you um when we are in the space of love we are creating love and then for us to be able to be in the space of love, we have to acknowledge love, right? Because love doesn't exist unless you are being the witness to it. And nothing exists unless you're being a witness to it. So because we're here in the physical form, not only are we able to create it, but we're able to witness it through our experiencing of it, which compiles it into being, which is creating the being of source without limitation because there's no limitations on love and so when you can be in that space of love you're allowing that to flow through you to go to where it is meant to go right and that's love so when we're on the other side um and when i had my near-death experience and they showed that to me um like how that works and it's hard to put it in words um because of the human concept. <laughs> um, so whatever we generate of love goes to love. It's, it's the state of love and that's the state of being, which is creating the source of all being uh, to all. And so when we share in it, we're all a part of it, creating it. So everybody has a, a part and play and role in creating love that's generating and sending it to the other side versus where we feel like maybe it's coming from the other side because we we should know um, that we don't have that experience here. <laughs> this is the other side of love, which is the absence of love, which is the expansion allowing of it to be in different perspectives. 
um, if you will, on the timeline, which is from love to not love, which is the absence of um, not evil, <laughs> um, like they, they teach you. But it's expansion of awareness to where we can be there creating from that to supply that, which is the love, right? The, the mainframe of all things. And as we're creating it here, we're actually adding to that, right? To evolve, right? So it's kind of like we're, we're the light beings, uh, the, the bees to the, to the uh, queen bee in the hive, sort of say the workers. Um, and so we're giving light and love to that, making that bigger, right? Expanding the awareness of it and creating and adding to it through everything that we're doing and experiencing and seeing on different levels. Now, um, with, with love, we're building that. And so when you go on the other side, you, you feel the overwhelming amount of love that comes from each and every one of us <laughs> when we're building it and we're creating it um, and to bring that into this lifetime here now when we're doing it, right? And so we can experience it here, but not on that level because that is the totality of love that we all are creating. It's expansion of awareness and love. And so when we go there, we can feel it. And that's why it's so overwhelmingly, uh, you know, it's, uh, you can't put it in words. It's unmentionable um, in that reality. <laughs> and so to bring that back, it doesn't exist here long because it can't. Um, it's, it's not made like that. And so it's been made in a certain way, which is all created um, with purpose and for a reason. And, um, it's, it's, has its, its own way of being existing. It's hard to see it from this point of view and put it in words to share. Um, but when we're, when we're sharing love with another, um, that creates, it generates it. It comes from the heart, not from the mind, right? So you have the different levels of love, which creates love that goes to it, right? In the expansion of it and the awareness of it. And so as we're adding to it, we're, we're building it more and more, right, from that other side. But from this side, uh, the expansion of awareness is basically where we are in the human form or whatever form we're taking up to have the experience of love, whatever that is for you on that level that you're creating uh, to generate it for the other side. So with the expansion of awareness that we have here because we are the witness of our own love and our own doing, the expansion of awareness brings us to the point of understanding it, the awareness of being in the present moment. And so when we're in the present moment, we're having that awareness that expands itself on that level, <laughs> which is a point of being. Uh, and that's related to source, wherever you are. And when you're allowing yourself to be source, you're allowing that to be present within you. And so it's kind of like the scenario where, like, when you are engulfed in an experience, you no longer have your identity. You're just lost in the experience. And if you've had that experience, um, then you understand what I, what I mean because you're kind of, it's like when they say when you enjoy something solely to the fully, like your whole day is gone. Like you don't even realize what time it is. You're having so much fun. You're not even paying attention to what time it is and time passes. It doesn't exist anymore. And that's the openness of awareness. So source, the energy of that is being within you and it's sharing with you in that experience. But when we are in the ego and we're cut off and we're shut off, uh, we're not allowing any of that going on. Um, and so that is part of the whole um, you know, setup, the way that, that, it, that it's being. But everything that's love that we're creating and generating here goes to add to it. And then all the information and all the whatever we're doing is important, you know. And so whether we understand or know it, we're doing it on an unconscious level. <laughs> and so we may not realize it. And so which brings me back to what I was saying about earlier the beginning of the video how like even the smallest thing you know like putting groceries in the back of your car and dropping them off generates love right and so you have those who are the ones willing to play the role that need uh, the love to be generated to and those who are 
playing the role that generates the love, right? And so you have those who may be in a wheelchair. Uh, that's their, their role and their play and their experience. And then you have the person who is um, generating love by being loving to that person to help them, right? So these are scenarios that go on. It's all uh, choreographed. It's all, um, everything's just perfect the way, the way it is. And if you can stand back from it and just look at it, like I was shown today on my way through, <laughs> through there, and what dropped in was, like everything is just perfect, you know, and just love the journey. Um, and although our identity comes in and our judgment and things like that, and we want to make more out of it than what really is, everything is divine and, and purposely created in the way it's supposed to be. Um, because you can't have one without the other, right? You can't have somebody helping another person if nobody needs help, <laughs> right? You can't, these are all the bits and pieces of the play. And so everything's been thought of. Everything is here for you to help you play out the roles and generate what you need to generate to learn, to experience, to have, uh, and to keep the system going. It's kind of, it's really interesting how it all plays a part in the role in it. Um, and the way it's all been planned out and choreographed because there's nothing that isn't being that isn't being there for you. Everything is there for you, no matter what level that is, whether it's you're in your lowest hour or you're suffering or in your highest um, and the best, you know. And so uh, everything is there for you. Uh, there's nothing that isn't there for you. And it's all perfectly, uh, divinely orchestrated. So... If you have any questions on that, I know that was maybe a little uh, entry in, and then around, you know, the track there. But I was trying to get it to where it makes sense. And I hope that makes sense. Um, every, what everything and everything that we do, it all is all perfect. It's all divine. Uh, it, it, it makes sense when you step back from it and you can look at it from source's eyes, uh, different perspectives. And our eyes, when we're in the situation, because when we're in the situation, we can't see it. But when we look back at it and we just stand there and observe and just listen, um, then we have the ability to tune in and realize, you know, the purpose of what all things are. And although we may feel bad for people um, and judge their doing, because sometimes it's not always in the best interest of love, but is for, for love, because then it has a purpose, right? Because then we get to see different things, different experiences, um, play the different roles. Um, it's, it's a play, and Shakespeare said that. And I, you know, in that class, um, trying to understand it. And later on in life, as I went through the awakening process, uh, they actually uh, use that as a reference for me because when, when spirit and your guides uh, actually talk to you, they talk to you through the knowledge bank that you have so you can understand it. And so they use that as a reference about how Shakespeare, all, all of life is a play. And they use that for me to help me to understand everything is, you know, divinely orchestrated for us. It's a play. We all play our roles. We all have something in a part in, in it so that we are generating love from different aspects of it. Because everything has a purpose, everything has potential, and everything is in the name of love, right? And so we're all generating it from that place, no matter what that is, even if it isn't. Um, and it's our judgment and our separation that gets in the way. And so, you know, if we're able to sit there and kind of observe situations that we're looking at from a non-judgmental space, we'll be able to see more of that understanding. And so even in the space of your suffering or somebody else's suffering, it doesn't go unwarranted. Um, you're always acknowledged um, from beyond. Uh, and so a lot of people will fear maybe um you know not leaving a legacy but no matter what that is it you have a legacy because you're part of everything and all of its creation right and you are more than you think that you are uh your love beyond this human form um this place that you're in and this experience that you're doing and that's who you go back to um you don't go to hell you don't go to any of those places that they tell you um that's an illusion. Uh, and so it's the creation of ourselves. And I talked a little bit about that on a different video because it's not like purgatory. 
And on your way back to love, you go through your illusion to see it, which is false, because you have to be able and willing to shed that in order to get to love. So it's not really purgatory that you're going to reap. Um, it's been taken out of context and misunderstood. It's actually you have you have you are going to experience when you pass over to go through. It's almost like going through. I'm going to use this reference like a tunnel. You go through all these belief systems that you're in it's whatever you're going to hold on to so whatever belief systems that doesn't resonate with love you need to shed that right and so to do that you're going to need to become aware of that and so that's why from here to there you may have those experiences of what your fear and doubts are um and anything that you hold against yourself or another person whatever that is going to be you know, you, you need to let that go in order for you to go to love. But we all go back to home. We all go back to love because that's per the purpose of it. It's generating itself within itself, upon itself to do what it's meant to do. So we all have a purpose. We all have a part in play in it. Even if it's just putting groceries in somebody's car to take to somebody so they can have help, <laughs> you know. And so it's all, it's all divinely orchestrated and has, we all have a part in a play. And so everybody's important. And nobody is not important and nobody is not loved. We're all loved on all levels of being. Happy journeys.